morning. Right now I'm on my way to Costco for the drop. It's 9.45 right now. I didn't record yesterday, guys, but I made a lot of money. I made $336. Kind of weird day on Instacart. I made only $168. Still, I guess, decent, but I missed a $96 order. And right after, I missed an 89, right at five o'clock in the afternoon. So it was rough, but we saved the day with three shipped orders, $58. Then I did a couple more that came out to $38 and $30, I believe. I did a $26 Uber Eats and a $13 DoorDash order and I think I made $336 yesterday. It was good at the end of the day, but it felt pretty weird. From the beginning of the day until six o'clock in the afternoon, I had not made half of that. So I pretty much, in those two or three hours left for the day, I saved the whole day with those shipped orders and that $26 Uber Eats. So that was good. I didn't feel like recording yesterday, but man, I should have, because it was a good day, you know? But now, let's see what happens today, if we can take a juicy order at the drop or a decent order, let's go find out. I just took a $50 order, 24 miles, 50 items, two customers from Costco. And the second customer has 49 items. The first customer has only one item. And the second customer, it's their first order. So I don't know, let's, let's go do it. It's the only order that I got. I know it's bad, but I gotta make money. Let's go, let's do it. It's been only 23 minutes and we got every single item. 50 items, Costco, there's the order. Just see it for yourself. There was no way of organizing this stuff better. Uh, it's all pretty much small items. And this is the only item for customer A. All the other 49 items are for customer B, which is a new customer. All right, now let's go pay and drive 24 miles, let's go. So you know what we do with the flowers? Watch this. Guys, we got the order. It's 10.50 right now. I think what took most of the time was the checkout and then packing everything and putting it in the car. But now we're on our way to the first customer, it's only 10 minutes. And then I'm assuming it's gonna be around 20 minutes from that one to the second. Man, we all know 50 items from Costco is no joke at all. The items are, are bigger than usual, so obviously 50 items at Costco gonna be heavy anyway. But man, it, it just depends on the items, because I obviously, I took the order knowing it was 50 items, but it was because it was the only order I got offered. And like, I started seeing other shoppers uh, taking other orders at that same time and they were talking like hey I took this one and I took the other one uh, so I heard somebody took uh, an 82 this uh, other buddy of mine took a 48 and they had taken those orders seconds before I even got offered this one so I knew I wouldn't get anything else you know, so I went ahead and took it right away, 50 items. Thankfully, they were all small items. And I shop really fast at Costco. I shop really fast anywhere, but I knew it wouldn't be a huge deal. 
but I know not many people are capable of pulling off an order like this in the time that I'm doing it. You gotta know yourself, you gotta know what you're good at, where you're good at, and that way you will succeed even when they offer you stuff like this. Everybody else was afraid of taking this order. There was this other guy that kind of made fun of me for taking it, but it's okay. I think he took a 48 right after I took this one for way less items. And I finished shopping before him. I don't know why would you make fun of somebody that's way faster than you shopping. But it's okay. Let's see at the end of the day. Let's go. Okay, just completed that first drop off, those flowers. My Instacart delivery screen said it was like a gift for somebody, so I had to call her, and she came out to get her flowers. It's not the first time I do an order like this. It's been probably more than five times that I've done gift orders. Flowers, chocolates, snacks for patients, at hospitals, you name it. Been all over the place. And we're currently 20 minutes away to that other drop off. Man, people are insane driving. Let's take care of ourselves. Be safe while driving. Don't text. Done nothing. I probably shouldn't be recording while driving, but I have a phone mount. Most of the recording time, I'm not even looking at the camera though. I'm looking at the road. I guess that's the safest practice that I can implement. But be safe out there. So that order took an hour and 29 minutes to complete and now we are 30 minutes away from Costco. I'm in a very remote area, kind of in the country. I don't think I'm gonna see any more batches until I'm close to Costco again, honestly. Let's go see if we can hit another one before lunch. I'm gonna be going online on Uber Eats and DoorDash as well. See if I can provide lunch to people actually and make some money that way. But we're at $50 right now and it's 11.35. Not great, but we'll continue. I promise I will make good money today. At least 200. Let's see if we can go for 250. Let's go. Guys, oh my goodness, I've been sitting here at Costco for about an hour, okay? And maybe 45 minutes, I don't know. But I had seen a few orders. Crappy orders though. 17, I think. A $12 order and like a 27 
for two stores, you know, all, all of them not doable. I was editing some videos and stuff and my wife sent me a message so I closed the Instacart app to reply to her and got, got a $71 notification and I opened it. I opened the batch. I hit accept. And I got it, guys. I got the batch. It's for one customer, nine miles, 17 items. One customer, man, I'm still shaking because I feel like most of the time you get a notification for a batch. Most of the times I miss the batch, but man, this time I got it. Uh, this friend of mine had taken a $44 order for also one customer. It didn't come through on my phone. So, you know, I was getting, I was getting skeptical about the day, but man, this order is about to save the day. So anyway, let's go do it. I'm hoping for an add-on though. Hopefully, hopefully I get an add-on. Hopefully, a good one because sometimes I get like $7 add-ons, all right? Let's go, let's do it. All right guys, so I had all the items and but I was still waiting for an add-on and I just got my first add-on. It's a $22 order for six items. Uh, 11 miles. I know it's not good, but I took it. It's the only add-on that I've gotten and at this point I needed to finish the batch. So I went ahead and took it. It's gonna be a, what? A $93 batch? That's awesome. I just completed that shopping. I definitely took my time with it. Didn't rush. It's a great order and I was focused on providing a great service. I always do, but especially with these customers that tip really well, you gotta give a little more. So I communicated with them, even though every single thing was in stock. So they seemed to be really nice people and they were really thankful for my service. So that's great. I love it. It just drop off the stuff right there and you have to go any further it's incredible okay guys done with that order it took us a while but because of the miles I don't care it was a good order still great order $93 man it's the best order I've done in a while because I've been missing a lot of batches, a lot of good. All of these batches like this, like 80s, 70s, 90s, been missing them. I don't get them right on time. The only reason why I know I took this order is because all of the other diamond shoppers I, I told you guys, I'm not a diamond because I don't have the update on my account, but there are a lot of diamond shoppers in my Costco and all of them were already doing an order. So that's that's the only way for me to, to get a good order when all of them are busy, out of service, you know? But anyway, we got it and now I'm going home for lunch and we'll see we'll see what happens from now let's go i've been sitting for like two hours and nothing and i've literally seen how all of the other shoppers have taken batches getting out their cars walking towards the store and i've seen nothing on my screen so now that they're all busy that they're all out delivering i finally got an order it's not too great though it's a 33 order two customers 
but it's only three miles. So I'm gonna go get it real quick and see if I can do that in like 30 minutes. Let's go. Because the order it took about 10 minutes to pick up all the items. First customer lives eight minutes away. And I think the second is gonna be like three, four minutes away from that one. So it's gonna take like maybe 15 minutes to drop it all off. Not bad, let's go. Okay guys, just completed that order. It took 38 minutes and it's 5.40 right now. Let's go back to Costco, see if we can get a last one from there. And if we don't get anything by 6.15, 6.30, I'm gonna go to a Publix and see if I can get another one. Okay, $21 order. Publix, 20 items, new customer, 1.6 miles. Let's go. Customer added a few items, so came up to twenty-five dollars. Let's get this. I'm like halfway in, we had to wait a little bit. Uh, they had like three items from the seafood counter, and it took a little bit, but still need to get like ten more items. We'll be good to go. Let's continue. the next day right now yesterday I didn't do any more orders it was a weird day because at first 12 1 p.m. 2 o'clock I thought it'd be a good day because I had done those two orders and I had taken that nice $71 order that I got an add-on for $22 and the original customer of the batch actually upped my tip five more dollars, so it came out to 98. I thought because of getting that batch and the previous $50 order, it'd be an awesome day, no doubt, but it just died. It died for me, at least. Seen other shoppers going in, going out, going out for delivery and coming back and taking another batch. I drove to one Publix, didn't get anything from there. I drove to another Publix, nothing. I got frustrated and it was already like eight o'clock. So I decided to go home. Still had my phone right next to me in case a good one, good pop, but obviously nothing. So I ended up making $212 for the day. And oh my god, I just took a batch. Just took a batch right now. It's it's actually a bad day today also, but I'm not recording. And I've been sitting for at least four hours. And I just took a batch. So anyway, guys. Um all that to say, man, if it wasn't for that juicy $98 batch that I took yesterday. I would have made like $110. I'm a little disappointed because I wanted to make more, like I could have done three or four more batches and made at least 300, but it was just nothing, nothing going on on my account, at least, like I said. But it's nothing I can do. Still managed to make pretty good, decent money all of the other apps were also dead so i couldn't really make a little bit more with uber eats or doordash no because everything was dead but um thankful 212 dollars i'll take it it was good i think that's gonna make it for this video guys thank you so much for watching my videos if you like my videos please why don't you subscribe please it wouldn't hurt even if you don't like my videos, that's okay, but it wouldn't hurt. I'm just saying. 
but anyway guys uh, I'm not recording today it's a pretty bad day but I kind of just rescued it a little bit with this one it's a $46 order from Costco and I think I'm gonna be at around 160 with this one for the day and it's 425 right now but anyway guys thank you so much see you later take care drive safe and make a lot of money